Yo, what's up guys? So, it's so cringy doing an intro for this. So today we're gonna be making Christmas pizza. It's been a, it, it's been a recipe that's been handed down in my family for generations. My great grandfather back in World War VII actually made this recipe up. Not a lot of people know about it, but today I'm gonna be showing you how to make it. Then you need the M&M's with the, the badass black bitch. First, you want to beat the dough. WHY DID YOU ABANDON ME?! <laughs> no! <laughs> How the Italians do it. I've seen a pizza guy do this one time before. Oh crap, it broke. <laughs> Alright, next up, the most important part of the pie. The cheese. So, you just want to take some of the cheese. Spray, oh, oh yeah. You don't want too much cheese, you know? You gotta remember, there's other things that have to go on this pizza, but cheese is like an important part, but it's not crucial. You can, uh, you can uh, afford to have some, you know, bald spots. Just like I do on my head. So next up, we're gonna, you have to get these candy canes out of here. Now, one of the most important ingredients for the Christmas pizza is the peppermint candies. They, they kind of uh, replace uh, pepperonis. I actually like to call them peppermintonis. It kind of makes a lot of sense. Now that you got the candy canes on the pizza, you want to have another kind of like, you know, Christmassy candy. Uh, I actually picked out M&M's. I thought this was a, a great idea to do. Now what I'm going to do with the M&M's is I'm going to split them in half. They did surgery on an M&M. Shit. <laughs> wow, is this going to be really hard to do? Holy crap, they're impenetrable. <laughs> this greasy little fucker. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ow! Whoa, I'm gonna have to like grab a freaking miter saw. Okay, I did it. Ew. Oh! Ah! Uh. <laughs> that actually hurts so much. I feel like hitting my brain. That looks so good though. Ooh, oh! All right. Oh, damn! Damn, go off! All right, so once you got your pizza looking fantastic, looking amazing, you want to go over to your oven. So you want to go up to your old rinky dink. <sighs> this thing is so sad. Our oven broke a long time ago and we've never fixed it. Um, so you want to preheat to 420 degrees. Now, you know, shit, it's so hard to do it. All right, you gotta go. Okay, that's around 420. And then you want to preheat it and put it on bake. You know, our oven broke a long time ago, so we have to use the toaster oven, which by the way, I think will probably be better. So yeah guys, I'll see you after I'll see you after it's done cooking for the taste test. Ah! Oh baby, look at that beauty. Alright guys, so now that the Christmas pizza is done, it's time for the taste test. I know this uh this uh, recipe has been handed down in my family for a long time, but I've had it. I've never had it. Let's rip it apart. It's still a little doughy on the inside. Oh man, I can't believe this is my dinner tonight. Oh, it's still hot. Okay, I didn't... Oh, look at that end part. That's gonna be a nice bite. All the mixture of flavors is terrible. It's like the chocolate tastes like <laughs> melted chocolate in a pan, but then you get the taste of cheese and pasta sauce or pizza sauce. I'm gonna need to wash it down with a little eggnog. You know, I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't know what people really do on Christmas. But this seems about right. All right, well, the battery's up 15% now. Now you have no leg. You know, no, you give it a try. No. Come on. No. You have to. No. The audience wants to see it. No, they don't. We didn't have a clean plate, so she's eating off that. Get a nice chunky part. You eat crust. Oh, you hear the crunch of the m and <laughs> 
It's like eating beetles. So how I'd rate this pizza, you know, it was a pretty, pretty good pie. The eggnog, you know, you kind of need the eggnog to wash it down. I would say this pizza was probably like a five out of 10. The mixture of savory flavors with the sweet flavors, kind of a little bit too much. You know, I'm not gonna lie though, when you get bites of the chocolate, it actually tastes really good. But if you get a mixture of it all together, you know, the peppermint, the chocolate, something, it just does something to your stomach. I actually feel like I'm dying inside. So, um, yeah, that's a, that's a Christmas pizza. Thanks for watching my Christmas special, guys, and I'll see you guys next year. No, you need to get closer. <laughs> <laughs> Josie! <laughs> Josie, back up. Sit! Sit! <laughs> Josie! <laughs> No! Alright. Alright, are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>